This is Bahrain Television, and I'm Yasmin Anan. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived today in Russia on a visit for talks with Russian President Putin, focusing on bilateral relations and ways of enhancing joint cooperation in all fields in addition to the regional and international developments. His Majesty was welcomed at the airport by the Russian Deputy Foreign Minister and senior Russian officials, Bahrain's ambassador to Russia, the Russian ambassador to Bahrain, members of Bahrain's embassy in Russia. The deputy of His Majesty the King and Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met at Gudaibiya Palace today with His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The Royal Highness has affirmed the importance of the visits of His Majesty the King, who he co conducts to different countries, in order to enhance Bahrain's cooperation to achieve mutual interests. They said it reflects Bahrain's understanding that all security and economic challenges facing the region can only be dealt with through cooperation and coordination with brotherly and Friendly countries. The meeting also reviewed issues related to supporting the revenues of the state's general budget to serve the governmental approach towards development. They discussed several initiatives that aim to develop human resources of government bodies in order to improve governmental services and procedures. The Royal Highnesses noted the importance of gatherings and forums that support governmental approach towards developing its performance in all fields. They also express full support to all meetings that aim to develop governmental staff and achieve the government's developmental and economic vision that aim to upgrade the living standard of people. The deputy of His Majesty the King and the Crown Prince received at Gudaibiya Palace a Chinese delegation led by the mayor of the Chinese city of Shenzhen, Mr. Su Jin. The delegation is on an official visit to Bahrain, where they will organize the Bahrain Shenzhen Business Forum. The meeting discussed issues of common interest, including reinforcing investment opportunities between the two countries. His Royal Highness confirmed Bahrain's continuous work to reinforce the economic environment and diversify sources of income to achieve the desired goals of sustainable development and strengthen the role of the private sector as a crucial partner in the economy. He pointed out that Bahrain has adopted competitiveness as an indicator for the economy, which has turned the kingdom into an important hub for economic activities of foreign companies. He also said that this encourages investment and consolidates the advancement of the national economy. His Royal Highness highlighted signing many economic memoranda of understanding and agreements with Asian countries and expanding commercial relations with China and its openness to external markets that serve the development of Bahrain's economy. The Deputy of His Majesty noted the development in Bahraini-Chinese relations, which embodies the historic friendship between the two countries that contributed in reinforcing cooperation and coordination. He said exchange visits at all levels contribute to strengthening cooperation between the two countries in the economic and commercial links. For his part, Mr. Ching expressed thanks for His Royal Highness' interest in enhancing bilateral relations in all sectors to contribute in developing both countries' economies. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudaibiya Palace a Chinese delegation led by the mayor of the Chinese city of Shenzhen, who is visiting the country to review investment cooperation opportunities. His Royal Highness stressed that Bahrain welcomes Chinese investments and supports all efforts that reinforce commercial and economic cooperation between Bahrain and China. He also ensured that Bahrain places great importance on expanding mutual cooperation between the two countries in all fields, noting that there are a lot of opportunities that could be taken to strengthen the economic, political and cultural relations between both countries. His Royal Highness commended the significant growth of the Bahraini-Chinese cooperation under the care of both countries' leaderships. He also highlighted the importance of such visits in reinforcing coordination through introducing more initiatives that encourage the private sector to take investment opportunities. Mayor Ching thanked the Prime Minister for his continuous efforts to strengthen cooperation between the two countries.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also received at Gulaybiya Palace the Shura Council Speaker Ali Al Saleh and a number of MPs and senior state officials in presence of former Representative Council Speaker Khalifa Bahrani. His Royal Highness highlighted the role of Bahraini women in society and the efficiency they demonstrated in political, economical and legal fields. He stressed the need for concerted efforts between the constitutional institutions to pass legislation aimed at boosting the role of Bahraini women and safeguarding their rights in line with Sharia principles. His Royal Highness also stressed that the government places great importance on providing decent living conditions for the citizens through developing the services provided to them in the health, economic, educational, housing and social fields. He highlighted the sound legislative foundation established by Bahrain, which helped protect human rights. Addressing Arab affairs, His Royal Highness stressed on the importance of keeping discussions regarding Arab affairs between Arabs themselves, saying that no one cares about the best interest of Arabs more than Arabs themselves. He said the challenges and conspiracies against the Arab nation are massive and come in different ways in order to disturb the stability of Arab countries, pointing out that unity is the best way that helps face these challenges. He also called to shun differences and stick to unity to bolster the Arab presence in international gatherings and deter attempts to tamper with regional security.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Kudaybiya Palace. He expressed good wishes to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander First Deputy Premier and to the people of Bahrain on the occasion of the upcoming Eid al-Adha, wishing the kingdom, its people, the wise leadership and the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. He also wished pilgrims success in performing Hajj, praising the efforts of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz al -Sa in providing services for pilgrims. His Royal Highness then extended good wishes for students on the start of the new academic year, wishing them success. He directed the Education Ministry and academic and administrative bodies to exert more efforts to achieve the government aspirations to develop the level of education through initiatives, training and curriculum improvement. He called to exert more efforts to open more classes for people with special needs and called for encouraging investment in private education to provide high-quality services. He stressed the importance of attracting more higher education institutions in cooperation with international universities to enhance local capabilities. The Education Minister briefed the meeting on administrative, technical and human resources preparations to receive students for the new academic year and measures taken to develop the curriculum. His Royal Highness then directed the, minister, the Housing Minister to see the housing needs of the people of Sanabas, Bilad al Qadim, and Zinj and directed to study of the allocation of the remaining part of Tubli housing project for the people of that area. He hailed the role of the charitable funds and societies for their humanitarian work and directed the Ministry of Labour and Social Development to write down a report on the charitable funds and society's achievements. He also directed for another report on the achievements of the Zakat Fund and details on the dispersed funds. The Cabinet approved the amendments of services provided by the Civil Aviation Affairs, including MET services, license and practice activities, airport services fees and departure. They directed concerned bodies to exert more efforts to facilitate the procedures for obtaining licenses that support urban investment and enhance the government efforts to attract such investments. The Prime Minister directed to provide facilities for municipal councils and to coordinate with them in order to provide services of high quality for citizens and residents. The Cabinet the Cabinet reviewed recommendations and resolutions from municipal councils. The Prime Minister then directed to execute more programs and activities that attract youth and help them gain more skills and talents. The Cabinet discussed a report from the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs regarding sum summer activities for youth and sports sectors in 2016. The Cabinet also approved three proposals from the Representative Council. The first regarding banning trucks and tanks from using roads during specific hours. The second is about providing providing more Wi-Fi services in public places, and the third regarding completing Prince Saud Al Faisal Avenue project. The Housing Minister, Bassam Al Hamar, affirmed that the launching of the smartphone app in partnership with the Information and E-Government Authority comes under the goal of comprehensive update to the electronic system. He said that the trial period included 25,000 downloads to the new app. He said that this service allows citizens to benefit from the use of its components to provide a housing service, update the data, maintenance requests, follow the news and multimedia, which reflects the success of this experiment. Mr. Alhamar pointed out that the series of renovating the electronic system included the relaunching of the website's modern system with electronic services that make it easier for citizens to provide and follow up on their applications, in addition to information security and accuracy. And now we turn to business news with you, Mohammed. Thank you, Yasmina. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain TV. Bahrain Al Share Index closed at 1,135.26 points, falling 5.79 below last closing. The fall was in the commercial banks, investments, and industrial sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 54% of total shares. 50 transactions included 1,979,677 shares, worth 272,944 BD.